Okay, welcome to the second tutorial for Animation Master. This is, will be about the mouse commands. In the last tutorial, we learned about the interface and how to open up windows, how to create a new project, what the different windows did. Um, in this one, we're going to see how we can navigate around in the 3D space. Um, it's a little bit different than in Maya or any other package, um, but once you get used to it, it's just like the other ones, it's actually pretty fast. Um, so first of all, what we're going to do is we have to have something to, to work with here. So we're going to create a simple object. And we'll go through an, in another tutorial how to create um, geometry. But for right now, if you right click in Objects and say New Model, then all we're going to do is we're going to draw something in here that we can maneuver around. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a profile curve um, of a cup. And you do this by just push the A button once, and you'll see this little plus show up by your by your arrow or by your mouse. And just click, and you don't have to drag, just click. And click again, click again, click again, 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 and again. And then right click to stop. Now you can just click and drag these points anywhere you'd like to. I'm just going to do this so we get a interesting looking profile curve. Now this is called a model. Anything that we work in in this in this window is going to be part of this model. And so what I'm going, what I'm going to do is um, now I'm going to lay this and like we talked about under under tools, options, if you go under modeling and you can under lathe cross sections under 8 you can put it to anything you want. I'm just going to leave it at 8 for right now. Uh, but I'm going to click just one point on that spline and before I go any further um, I want to talk about bias real quick. Um, these are these splines are a lot like in Illustrator or any other paint tool where you use a pen tool and you can click and drag and create these curves. It's basically doing the same thing. And in Animation Master, it uses bias to, to determine the curve. So what I'm going to do is go up here to this button right here and say Show Bias Handles. And you'll see that this yellow uh, handle showed up. Now what I can do with this is I can click and drag it any way I want to change the shape of that curve. And this is called, these are called uh, alpha, gamma, in magnitude and out magnitude. Now the defaults are 0, 0, uh, 100, and 100. And you can see now uh, what that did is it went back to its default position. But you can do that with any of them. I like to leave them on because then I can see what direction my spline is running. So anyways, to create a cup, you just click on this right here, or any any of the points. You don't select the whole thing. If you select the whole thing, you won't be able to lathe it. Uh, so you just select one point, go over here to the lathe button, and or L, and click the lathe button. And now it's given us a cup or a, a 3D object that we can that we can look at. Now, in order to see this in a shaded mode or anything like that, you can right click and say view, render mode, and do this, but I want to talk about all the hotkeys because it's really pretty simple. Um, in your views, to go into orthographic views such as your front, top, side, everything like that, in Maya you usually hit the space bar and tell you which one you want to go to. Um, in Animation Master it's all on your numpad. So the numpad on the right side of your keyboard, if you hit 2, it goes to the front, 4 is from your left, 6 is from your right, 8 is from behind, 5 is from above, 0 is from be beneath, 7 is a bird's eye view, so a perspective view, uh, 1 is not assigned unless you're in a choreography, then it is looking through your camera, and 3 is also in your choreography looking through the light that you have selected, and 9 isn't, uh, isn't assigned to anything. So once again, 2 is front, 4 is left, um, we, we, to clarify that, uh, 4 is your left. When we talk about left and right, I'm usually talking about the left and right of the model. As if the model is looking at me, its right is actually on my left, and its left is actually on my right. Uh, that way, when I'm working on something, I, I name things correctly. Anyways, so 4 is, four is right, 6 is left, 8 is behind, 5 is on top, 0 is below. So I'm going to go back to front view in 2. Now, to tumble this, uh, in Maya you usually hold down the Alt key and use the, use the left mouse button. 
uh, in Animation Master, you just push the T button, the T key, and it gives you this this uh, mouse icon, and then you click left mouse button and drag, and it will go into this mode where you can just tumble the object, and it will tumble around the object's center. If you highlight a a point or a group, and then hit it, and then tumble, it will tumble around that object or that piece. Um, so that tends to help with when you're working on just a little uh, area, you can select that and then tumble around it. I'm going to go back to my front in two and just click off here to deselect that piece. Um, so tumbling is just the T key and you do that. Or what you can do is hold down the shift button, uh, hold down the left shift and hold down your middle mouse button and drag. I just think that's a little more than I need to do so I usually just push T and then drag. Uh, zooming is very simple. It's one of two things. <clears throat> you can push the Z button. It gives you this magnifying glass and then you can click and drag backwards and forwards. Or what you can do is roll your middle mouse button or your scroll button. Uh, I tend to just use the roll unless I'm trying to do um, unless I'm trying to you know, focus in on a certain place. In that case you push the Z button to to, uh, to, do, to get this zoom and then you can click um, and drag, or what you can do is hit the Z and then with the right mouse button you can click and drag and it will zoom to that area. So, and then in zooming also to uh, center you hit shift Z and it will center your object. Um, to pan is really simple, you just push down the middle mouse button and drag. And that's all you have to do for panning. So, that's they're pretty simple mouse controls, um, but they're quite easy to work with and once you get the hang of it it's very easy to maneuver around. So those are the basic mouse controls and those mouse controls also work with down here within the graph editor. If I go into graph editor, if I push Z I can zoom in and out, up and down. Um, if I click and drag, um, if I pull down my middle mouse button and drag it's just panning through the frames and then if I use my left mouse button it will highlight frames. So uh, it works the same here and it works the same in almost every single view. Uh, so it, you don't have to worry about what view you're in. But those are the main mouse commands and uh, you can refer back to this lesson if you need to but we'll, I'll be reminding you throughout the tutorials of what they, what they are and how to use them. So that's it.